Good afternoon. We'd like to thank everyone for joining us here today. Uh, first, we'd like to thank Company Twos for hosting us, and we'd like to thank Chief Weisgerber uh, for not only hosting us, but for taking on the duties of being the interim fire chief for Stockton and for his assistance with the process of recruiting his successor. As you know, Stockton is one of the oldest and finest fire, department, fire departments in the nation. Uh, we have people here who do things like catch people jumping from burning buildings, literally, which happened only a few weeks ago. That type of an extraordinary department needs extraordinary leadership. So for that reason, I'm very pleased to announce that I've appointed Eric Newman as the fire chief for the Stockton Fire Department. Chief Newman spent the bulk of his career in the Bay Area, spending nearly two decades fighting fires here in California, and then went to Las Vegas to a very large and very complex agency to continue his work there. We're very pleased that he has chosen to come back to California, and we're very happy to welcome him to Stockton specifically. Please welcome the Chief. Good morning. Uh, first of all, I want to thank um, the city manager and the selection committee for selecting me as fire chief of the city of Stockton. I'm very humbled and honored to uh, be here this morning. Um, I know that the city of Stockton fire department is uh, very rich and very steep in tradition. Uh, I'm honored to be part of their team. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, getting started and working with the members of the Stockton fire department as well as uh, the executive staff for the city. Uh, I look forward to uh, getting out in the community, interacting with the residents as well as the uh, business businesses, and uh, basically uh, finding out, you know, what, what more do they want from their fire department. Uh, we're a very busy organization, and as I've been talking to some of the men, one of the big things is is just us being a little bit more efficient. So uh, again, uh, I want to thank the city manager, uh, the deputy city manager, and uh, members of the committee for selecting me and I look forward to uh, working with uh, everybody in the community. Thank you. So today we're also announcing a couple of additions to the Office of Violence Prevention. As you know, the Office of Violence Prevention is something that uh, was created as a result of the voter initiative, Measure A, uh, where the voters enabled us to do some of those types of things. The Office of Violence Prevention focuses on the long-term issues related to crime here in Stockton. So it's not the going after the criminal of today, but rather making sure that we interrupt the intergenerational pipeline that has created some of the issues we've had within uh, Stockton as far as crime. Some people have described it as one part law enforcement and two parts social work. And that works well because we've actually been able to recruit a person whose background is also one part law enforcement and two part social work. So Latasha Walden um, has spent her career uh, began her public safety career with the San Joaquin County Sheriff's Department. She then moved on to the San Joaquin County Probation Department where she's worked in multiple roles including the Domestic Violence Unit and most recently with the grant, uh, overseeing the grant to reduce racial and ethnic disparities. Uh, she's been working with a population that is very similar to the population we're trying to target with the Office of Violence Prevention and being born and raised in Stockton and a graduate of Stag High. She's also very familiar with Stockton. We're very pleased to bring her over to the Office of Violence Prevention. Please welcome Latasha Walden. Hello, I'd like to thank the city manager for trusting me with this uh, highly important opportunity. I am really excited to be here. Um, as he said, I'm from Stockton, and I also would like to give a big thanks to Chief Stephanie James with probation, who, um, who has embraced me uh, to take on this new venture. Um, and I am just really, really excited to be here. I've worked long and hard. I've been 18 years with San Joaquin County uh, Probation and Sheriff's Department, which has prepared me for this position. And um, I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. And finally, as many of you know, the work of the Office of Violence Prevention, uh, the actual staff spend a lot of time with the research and the data and some of those things but much of the real work is done actually in the trenches um, by our community-based organizations, by our faith-based organizations. So the connection we have with those groups are very significant for us. Um, so we are bringing on the first community engagement coordinator to specifically bridge that gap and make sure that we're able to maximize the benefits of, of the giving and care and community that we have here in Stockton. 
So we have Denise Manning, who is also a Stockton native, graduated from Edison High School. Uh, she is a published author in the area of youth transitioning from juvenile justice and foster care. And she is also a combat veteran, having served in Iraq and most recently is joining us from Japan. Please welcome Denise Manning. Well, I am extremely humbled and passionate about Stockton. I want to say thank you to the city manager and the assistant city manager for, you know, seeing that I was fit for this position. I love this city. I fought for my country and I'm here to give my all to Stockton. Thank you. Yeah, we're happy to take questions. Third, if you don't mind, we'll pass. Certainly. Was it a priority this time to hire for the violence prevention office someone from Stockton and who has a better grasp on why things are the way they are? So the priority has always been to find the highest caliber candidate. Uh, so being from Stockton was not the sole criteria, um, but the ability to hit the ground running and have a deeper sense of what Stockton is all about certainly adds value. I think under the previous administration, the goal was to have X amount more peacekeepers. Uh, there was budgeted for X, X amount more. Has that, have those hirings happened yet? We've continued to do hirings. In fact, we had um, our most recent hire actually began uh, within the last week. So we're continuing to beef up the office, uh, the How work. Are there right now, uh, I don't know the number offhand. We can get that for you though. Uh, but the work of the office has never stopped. It continued throughout the whole time. And um, with the addition of the new staff, we're going to actually be able to do more than we've ever done. Exactly. Does the Office of Violence So the Office of Violence Prevention implements a portion of the Marshall Plan. Uh, so we have Operation Ceasefire. Uh, the most visible component would be the peacekeepers. So we have individuals who have a variety of backgrounds, including some who've been on the other side of the law or who have been in trouble, um, who go out and engage and work on the intervention and the prevention aspects um, of the public safety side. So they're the non-enforcement com component. The office also does quite a bit of the research and the data that goes along with it. Uh, and with respect to the peacekeepers, uh, a lot of times, for example, if there is, say, a gang-involved shooting, uh, the peacekeepers are called out because that's their specialty and they go in there and they do a whole lot of the work that nobody ever actually sees. Can you explain what you've been doing at county probation and, and how close it is to what you're going to be doing for the city of Stockton, the similarity? Well at probation we wear many hats. Um, for the last three years, four years, I'm a supervisor for domestic violence adult division. Um, I'm very familiar with being out in the field as a field officer. I'm also a training officer. Currently, my role is um, I coordinate a grant called Reducing Racial and Ethnic Disparities, and that's looking at youth of color who are in juvenile hall, um, and it, um, coordinating an executive steering committee as well, uh, which is comprised of all department chiefs, and uh, we're looking at uh, key decision points that are made. Um, that would look at why we have that disparity in juvenile halls. So how, how are you going to bring that over to what you're doing for Stockton? The similarities are we're dealing with the same clientele. Um, as you know, with adult probation, with 8109, we also um, supervise those who have been released from prison. Um, we work with the peacekeepers currently in our capacity and so I will be able to bring over a lot of my experience from when I worked at the Sheriff's Department as a gang officer, uh, my experience as a probation officer. I've been doing this for 18 years um, so it will be an easy transition. I know there will be challenges but we're ready to uh, take on those challenges. So having the experience you do in this area, offer up this, what is it about this community, the way people are either raised, the economy, how does it all tie together, why does the city have ongoing crime issues does? Well, I think, um, and I may uh, refer to Kurt on some of this, but um, from my perspective, growing up in Stockton, I've been here all my life. Um, sometimes we have hot topics, hot, hot issues, and we'll tackle them, and then sometimes they die down. Once we, they, we see that the problem's been fixed, then we kind of back away from it. Stockton tends to be a big melting pot where we have a lot of different um, people and issues um, in our city. And I just think that we need to have a lot more programs of mentoring, which is what we're doing in Juvenile Hall. We need a lot more mentoring at an early stage. Uh, we need jobs. We just need a lot of community engagement, just not just from one department, but we need to get the whole community involved. 
and that's what we're going to be focused on is building those community relationships. Have you um, worked with or had any on police uh, training in the past? No. There are programs that you're saying that may have been successful in the past. We grew complacent, thinking everything was fine. You need to continue with those programs. I think that's what happens a lot. Um, in my role right now, I'm working with a lot of community-based organizations. And um, even though we see, it appears as if we have a lot of programs, there's a need for a lot more. How important is it that you and Denise are both very familiar with this area? Uh, I think it's very important. I think it adds a lot of value to the to the department, to the unit, and getting out there and people knowing that we're from Stockton and that we understand the community. I think that's very important to citizens. How important is it that you are from here and know here? It's extremely important to me, uh, mainly because uh, growing up here as a youth, as a, a young woman, I've seen uh, and witnessed some of the crime, some of the hurt, some of the despair, and it weighed on me uh, as my journey as a woman in other communities, serving in other communities, and I knew that I had to come back home and make a difference. We need people like us standing here today that are passionate about our community, that are willing to roll up our sleeves, create a plan, and get something done, and that's what we intend to do. And why does Stockton, in your mind, have the issues it does with crime? You know, honestly, I don't have the answer for that. I don't really know if anyone in Stockton has the answer for that. But what I do know is that Stockton needs us, and that means all of us. They need our hearts, they need our passion, they need our understanding, and most importantly, the, the youth need, need us. So I don't have the answer for that, but I'll tell you this, I'm willing to work to find a solution with my team here. Does that answer your question? Yes, sir. Any more questions? I'm good. Thank you, sir. <laughs> sir, uh, before here, I served in the Florida community. I was in uh, Tallahassee, Florida. Um, after I left Iraq, I went to Florida to take a position there. But immediately, um, excuse me, most um, recent, I was in uh, Japan. I was living and working in Okinawa, Japan. I was life coaching. I am also a certified life coach. So I was life coaching, sir, and publishing my books. <laughs> Any other questions? Thank you very much. Thank you.